Hello everyone, how are we doing out there? Well, I don't do this often because uh, years back you'll recall uh, we had a friend of mine who decided that toys should come in pieces and be difficult to reassemble so uh, I had to stop the box openings because it got a little bit hectic. Uh, copycats and all that. But this is a very special occasion because this is from a buddy of mine named Nicholas all the way from Peru. And that's kind of cool. I've never gotten anything from South America before. So I figured, let's open this one on camera. Let's just see what is inside the goodies from Peru. I have a vague idea of what is actually in this box. But you know what? Some people are cool enough to do very awesome things for me. So uh, I do like to spotlight it when it happens. So it's also extremely well taped. So I have no, like I said, I've got an inkling, not of what's in here, not a Splatoon character, just an inkling of the contents. Ooh. We have, ooh, foam art cards. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that's cool. I'm trying to tell if that's printed or if he actually drew that, because that's really freaking cool. Uh... We have Harley Quinn, a little more modern Harley Quinn. You know, out of the suit and everything. It's all, it's printed out on foam backing. Uh, but yeah, it looks very well done. I don't know if he did this or if he just picked them up. They're very cool. And then we have a more, uh, uh, more Suicide Squad akin Harley Quinn. So that is very cool. I'm not sure where to put those. I don't have much photo space on my walls anymore, but I'll, I have to figure out something for that. Uh, do we have more? Yes, we do. Harley Joker card. That's more Arkham Asylum, which I really, really like the Arkham games. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. Just have a card like a big playing card. That works exceptionally well. There's more of these. Here we go. Classic Harley. Full body suit. I still prefer this one, to be honest. Like, I think there's something a lot more interesting about her that she doesn't need to show an inch of skin, and yet she's still a attractive character. And then we have another mo modern uh, dyed hair Harley. Those are cool. Like, I like I said, I don't know if he did these or if he just picked these up somewhere. Either way, that's very very nice. I got to figure out what to do with those. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, I've got toys on boxes like whoa there's a whole bunch of junk food in here <laughs> all right so let's see t-shirt wow uh hang on shirt shirt Ooh. oh yeah have a power ranger that's a red ranger helmet or the silhouette of a red ranger helmet i believe that's red yeah that's the right yeah that's the right shape it is unfortunately way outside my size. So, but that's, that's fine. Like I'm about to go to Metrocon in a couple months. I'm going to need a shirt to sleep in. So I think I know what I'm wearing. I don't know. Maybe sizes in Peru run different and this will fit a little bit better after some shrinkage. I genuinely don't know. Ooh, we got more here. Oh, I feel like I'm opening a loot crate now. Black Ranger pop vinyl collection. Uh, this is going to be a dangerous rabbit hole now. It's like, can I find the others? Can I get all, can I get the whole team together now? Because I've only got one. Still, I like the Black Ranger. And my pop vinyl collection is quite small, actually, when you consider how many pop vinyls there are in the world. So, not, no problem with that. We have something that is wrapped and it's carded on something. Let's see. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, wow, that I did not expect. We have a super tiny Blade Blaster keychain. This seems to be vintage. That's the original card backing, the green, uh, tr you know, trademark and copyright, 1993, Saban Entertainment. Comes with two batteries. Willing to bet those don't work anymore. But that's, wow, that's older than some people watching this video. That's scary wow i did not expect something like that that's really cool that's really cool 
Wow. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely stunned on that one. I gotta take care of that. I gotta find... That one definitely needs a space for the wall. Okay, uh, we got other things that are wrapped up. See, they have a metallic thing to it. Hang on, I wanna... Oh, they're tied up. Oh, no. Not slowing down pace of video. Ah, let's hurry. Cosmocon, Secret Fairy Convention, a uh, fairly odd parents convention buttons. That's, that's random. Is that more than in here? That I, I genuinely didn't expect. Ooh. We got a whole bunch, like I'm saving like a bunch of junk food stuff to last. Because there is a bunch of it down here, but I've got a whole bunch of just little tiny mini figure. Ooh. Common Rider stuff. Super tiny Katakiriba. Super tiny Katakiriba. And I believe there is an Uva in here to match. Yes, there is. I love me some Common Rider O's. I think O's, like, more than most Common Rider series, is the one I'm most nostalgic for. I'm not sure why, but just the themes and the characters just really, really work for me. Oh, man. I didn't know they made them that tiny. They're standing on little metals. That's cute. See, no, no that's the knot I cut off. Yeah, we have, uh, more. I'm actually surprised some of this got through customs. I didn't think they'd, uh, let food like that through. Oh. Maybe I have another keychain, feels like. Snip off. Snip that off. And. Ooh. Yes, another keychain. It is the Millennium Necklace. I'm going to get possessed by a devious Egyptian spirit now. That's neat. It's hitting a lot of my, like, really random, like, geekdoms I don't normally, uh, associate with like not i don't normally reveal like when do i ever talk Yu-Gi-Oh? like i have the figma Yu-Gi-Oh, and i haven't even reviewed it and that's that's cool that is cool i like that somewhere around here i have a necklace for the millennium uh puzzle it's, it's about the same size as that so like now i need to dig that out and put the two together which might end the world but you know i think it's worth the risk Ooh, these feel familiar this just feel like more of the O's fig the little O's minis. I'm getting them in bundles now. I gotta get the knot out of there because I confused the knot for a tiny little bundle. Whoa, yep, whoa, it's all spilling out on me. Who did I get? What's, what's in here? Okay, let's see. Uh, we have Shauta combo. And we have the associate degree, Mezul. Again, standing on tiny little metals associated with them. We also got, let's see, we have a Junk Yummy, one of the generic grunt things, and one of the monsters. Now, I can't remember which monster. It's, one of, it's a shark, so it's one of Mezul's. I recognize the design, but I can't remember exactly which monster it is. It's, I mean, I'm overthinking it. It is probably like Shark Greed or something like that, or Shark Yummy. One, you know, one of the others. All right, snipping more, snipping more. If you like more of the figures, and ooh, ooh, do I just have like a whole set of these in here? Let's see, uh, we got wow, duplicates in a uh, pre-selected box, but that's okay. I know who that's going to go to. Super tiny little got the kitty bot again, and now we have Kazari, tiny little Kazari. That's cool. Ooh, was that three? It's three of the four main greeds now. You see, if, uh... Man, if, if the fourth isn't in here, now I'm gonna have to go on a trek to, uh, find it. I don't even know what that's... what series that is. Though, yeah, it looks like I'm running down on the little, uh... The little... Individually wrapped, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm one greed short. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna have to go dig them up. I have to figure out what, if someone knows what, like, specific toy line those are called, so I can figure out, like, where to go get the rest, please let me know. Ooh. What are you? Oh, I know you, I know you. Get this out of the wrapper here, and, yeah, this is a, 
necklace with a leather band. It is it is a Legend of Zelda Sheikah Slate. I lost so much of my time to Breath of the Wild, and I need to get the DLC so I can lose some more time. That's cool. I've got an I've got like an eye necklace theme thing going on here. Oh, a little bit of, again touching on geekdoms that I rarely speak of on this channel, but they're there. And we have this, which is more substantial. This is the largest of the bundles. I've got no idea what's in here because I, I can't discern anything by uh, what it feels like. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> it is a stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, this... We've gone a different dimension now. Hang on. Hang on. We've got a full deck in here. I don't know if it's like an actual playable deck or if it's just a random stack of cards. I have not played Yu-Gi-Oh! in so long. So, so some of these are so probably so lost on me. Uh, Imperion Magnum, the Superconductive Battle Bot. That's a mouthful. Yeah, and it's all robots. Alpha, the Electromagnetic Warrior. Beta, the Electromagnetic Warrior. Gamma, the Electro... Do I have like a whole like bundle that I can fuse? It's like a whole magma deck that's that's ridiculous okay valkyrian the magna warrior i believe i remember that one. Ooh, these are first edition too hang on i need to go check ebay real quick no wouldn't do that okay alpha beta gamma magnet warriors okay those are familiar special dark magician another dark magician a dark magician girl i never had a dark magician girl uh, Blade Buster, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight. This definitely feels like a pre-constructed deck. I don't know if this is one you could buy or if he put it together, but still. We've got a ton here that is very familiar. Why is a skilled Dark Magician lower level than the actual Dark Magician? Uh, yep, and now we get into Magic. Swords of Revealing Light, which is always a really good card. Mystic Box, which is useful. Polymerization, Multiples, Defusion. Never had that. Uh, Swords of Concealing Light. Never heard of that one. Magnet Conversion. So yeah, this is a magnet deck. Mirror Force. Really good. Barbarment. Okay, yeah. Arcane Eye Joker. Dark Paladin. Chimera. Blade Buster. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Obelisk the Tormentor. I'll, I'll be honest, like, now I'm checking to see if these are, like, uh, fake cards or anything, because, like, they feel a little bit thinner than I remember, but I haven't touched Yu-Gi-Oh cards in so long. I never had a, I never had an Egyptian god. I thought they were different colored on the back, too. That makes me a little bit nervous about the legitimacy of these, but, no, I, that's kind of cool. I've never had a, I've never actually possessed a, one of the Egyptian god cards before. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, I'm, and I need to look this up. Like, I don't know if this is like a pre-constructed deck that you could buy at one time. It feels that way, because a lot of those cards go together. But that's interesting. That I definitely didn't expect. Okay, I'm out of bundles. Everything else is, uh... Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat any of this on air, because I don't know. Like, if I, if I have an allergic reaction and choke and fall on the floor, it's probably not gonna make it on YouTube. Not advertiser-friendly. Uh, sublime chocolate with words I can't pronounce. Uh, bunch of those, bunch of those. Another not. Or let's see what else we have. Dona Peppa seems to be sprinkle based by uh, judging by her hair. I think I've seen some of these kind of things because I watch uh, Ashen's videos and he gets boxes with treats from all over the world. So. That is interesting. Uh, let's see, we got more of those, more of those. I hope I really like some of this. Well, here's the thing. I've got, I, you know, of course, I kind of hope I like some of this, because this is kind of cool. I've never had food from Peru before, but also, this will be really annoying to get more of if I really like it. Uh, Kua Kua, this chocolate wafers. I believe they're chocolate. Yeah, chocolate and cream and vanilla cream. Okay, yeah, so those... Got a bunch of those, got a bunch of those, so that's gonna rot my teeth. And then we have, we have sauces of around the world, Let's see, with words I cannot pronounce. This is interesting. 
So, yeah, um, well, I see some blue cheese and I see some peppers, so I'm guessing a lot of this is spicy, things like this. This is the kind of stuff, like, they let this across the border? Okay, yeah, and this has got, uh, it's got red bell pepper in it, and I can't read the back to know what's in it. This is gonna be dangerous. I don't know if it's spicy or not. You're gonna have to tell me, uh, Nicholas, you're gonna have to tell me uh, what these taste like, because I'm not... I can only handle so much spice, but yeah, now I need to find out uh, what I need to cook with that. So, that's, that's interesting. That's a really, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that's a really, really random box. So that's really fun. Ah, uh, thank you, Nicholas. That was really cool. And I don't know where you dug up a vintage power sound key. Chain. This thing transforms. Wow. Like, if I was still... There's a try me button. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's gone out the window. I, I was going to leave it in the box, but knowing that it tra that it uh, transforms, I might have to take that out, if only for the funny photos with uh, my larger toys. That's so cool. I love the, Har I love the Harley cards, too. i got to figure out what to do with them, because I don't want to just junk them in a box somewhere. Ah, oh, so thank you, thank you, Nicholas. That's really, that's really cool. Like, I had no idea what to expect, but it certainly wasn't that. That was all over the place, and I love that. Okay, so that has been a very rare for this channel uh, box unboxing video. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. If you notice, it's been a quiet month here on the channel. That's because things have been really, really rough on the family side of things. So, I do. Uh, I do have some ground to catch up this month, uh, hoping things calm down, hoping things get better. This is what I really needed. Like, this was a really cool little quick recharge and a quick distraction from things going on. And just a little box of love is what I needed right now. So thank you very much, Nicholas. Thank you to, thank you for your generosity. And like, that's, that's a really, really cool thing to do. And that came at r just the right time for me. All right, so... Uh, I'm gonna get to eating, uh, Peru, uh, or, uh, South American candy. Uh, gonna eat Peru. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, and then I'm gonna get back to work on some stuff so you guys have some toy content to enjoy because I've got a whole bunch lined up. So, see you then.